Tolofa, this is me, Van Ash, and welcome to Coco Sports Talk. So today we have a Mother's Day special where we'll be talking to Lanu Langi Via Inu, Kat Tuwebaiti, and Baby Nansen. So I got to chat to Lanu Langi, who is actually a dual international. She's represented New Zealand in both rugby league and rugby, so Kiwi Ferns and the Black Ferns. And she's now also, uh, with her two babies, looking after people coming out from probation. So here's what she has to say. Malo Lele, my name is Lanu Langi Viainu. I play rugby in rugby league, and I have two beautiful babies, Conker and Elias Brave. So as you mentioned, you play both rugby and rugby league. How has it actually been doing the sport and the mama side of things? No time to rush, you gotta be on top of your sports and on top of being a parent and a mum. So yeah, I'm still finding it today, like how I'm trying to manage staying on top of sports and being a mum at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And I know your schedule is pretty hectic this year with both a Rugby World Cup and a Rugby League World Cup. Mm. What is your week look like? doing both? Oh. <laughs> um, so Monday I'll be with counties rugby, Tuesday um, with club rugby, Wednesday um, counties health performance, Thursday club rugby and then Friday with league game, Saturday for rugby and then Sunday league game. On top moment. of working yep. and looking after the babies and doing some things for yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you obviously have a lot of support then? Yes, my support is like amazing like I can always fall back on my sisters because there's heaps of them and my brothers and then yeah my partner's an amazing dad to the kids which is even better. How has it been for you to actually be able to bring your babies into those kind of sporting environments? Is it quite inspirational for them or? As long as you're having fun pretty much but like if she's enjoying it and having fun at the age then I yeah I pretty much support her and what she does but I just tell her like as you get older, it's going to get harder, so you're going to have to work hard. Like, you can't just get out there and expect your talent to take you far. You're going to have to work hard for where you want to go. What kind of makes you, what drives you then to actually keep on going and spending basically your whole week dedicated to, to sport? I just think my kids give me, like, as my wife pretty much around sports, like, I just want them to look at me and say that they're proud of me, like, with what I'm doing, and I just hope that they one day they realise that this, what I'm doing is, was for them kind of thing, like just setting a pathway and being a good role model. For you pretty much do something similar outside of your sport. Mm -hmm. You've just started a new job. Can you talk a little bit about what you're doing now? Yep, so I'm working for Reconnect Family Service, so we do supported bail. Um, so pretty much we work with um, a client for six weeks and we're just pretty much keeping them busy, getting them into a routine and um, yeah, getting them back into society and doing their license, food shopping, all that kind of stuff. It must be very like helpful because you've got the same kind of skills that you'd need as a mama to mm. be able to yeah. look after and care for those kids that are actually in, mm. in our system. I just have to remember like, you know, to do my best that I can and just to be straight up and honest with them and remember that I'm trying to better that person, that client, to um, get back into society, into a better place, into a better life. Was there anyone to, you could actually look up to, like a mama athlete, that you were like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, try and be like her, or there's not that many um, that are doing both? No, I don't really know anyone that does both, but like, I know Liz Alda just had a brother, yeah, and she's amazing, like, she's a phenomenal mother, like, she was training with baby in her, like, she was seven months, eight months, and she was doing running Broncos at my Bronco time right now, and I was like, how's that even possible, but yeah, she's an amazing mum and works so hard, and yeah, now her baby's like, tank has, <laughs> just like her, but yeah, that's someone I look up to. What have been the joys of being a mama? Oh, just seeing them smile, like honestly. As long as they're happy and, you know, they're healthy, that's what makes, like I feel like my job's done, like, you know, kids have a roof over their head, they're full and ready for the next day, yeah. That's pretty much what makes me happy, <laughs> yeah. I had such a cool chat with Lange, it was just, it's always surprising how they can actually fit everything into it. Like, I mean, training Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then playing rugby on Saturday, league on Sunday. On top of all of the other things, uh, it just amazes me. But it's also half-time like, annoying too, because I'm like, why do we have to do all of those? But 
shot to Lange because hopefully with the Rugby World Cup and the Rugby League World Cup happening at the end of this year, she might be in either the Kiwi Fern squad or the Black Fern squad. So who knows? So what about your mama athlete? Our mama athlete we went and met with baby Pitbull Nansen and she is a renowned uh, fighter in New Zealand. She also fought at Madison Square Garden. Uh, I, I think she's the only woman from New Zealand to have fought at Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. um, she's a kickboxer, MMA fighter, uh, boxer, and she also runs and owns a gym with her mm -hmm. husband called Smack Gym out in mm -hmm. uh, Manurewa. And here's what she has to say. Hi, my name is Baby Nansen. I am a professional athlete. I'm a mother of twins. My twins are 10 years old. Their names are Leonara and Levine. I felt like it was quite um, natural anyway because I've always wanted to have kids. Um, it was a blessing to have two at one go and um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was probably the best stages of my life when they were like um, growing up and getting used to motherhood. It was quite challenging. Um, first of all, I had to drop all the mummy weight and get into a, a safe weight for me to start competing again. Um, it was challenging. Um, but I got back into it within six months and then I had my first bout versus um, a seasoned fighter back then. Um, I lost by split but um, I had heaps of fun, it was good. Mm. Uh, the joys of being a mum as a professional athlete um, would be sharing my journey with my kids. Like um, when I travel, um, I get to talk to them and communicate with them and just tell them how that's going. When I lose, I also talk to my kids how I'm taking the losses in that. I've always loved fighting before the kids and I seem to love fighting even more after the kids because then I had something to fight for. Um, and it's definitely a passion that um, I wanted to work really, really hard for so that when an opportunity such as the goals that I'm trying to reach at the moment, when they come, then, then it's worth it and then I can teach my kids, then I show my kids that hard work gets you places. So. I've gotten mentally stronger from having kids because um, kids teach you every single day about patience, you know. <laughs> That's one thing kids definitely teach you and also teach me that all my, act all my actions and everything I do um, is for them. So the way I act, the way I talk, I have to make sure that I, I do it in a way where my kids learn from me. So yeah, that, that keeps me in check as well. Keep fighting for what you believe in, um, whether it be in the ring or outside of the ring. Um, keep pushing for what you believe in. Um, that's uncomfortable for anything that you want to achieve in life. If you've got goals, start pushing. If it gets un uncomfortable, just keep pushing. Because um, that's the only way you're going to get results. Oh man, twins. Mother of twins. And how incredible like that she's still competing, boxing, um, kickboxing and stuff at the highest level. So who was our last mama athlete? So our last mama athlete was Catherine TYT. Um, she's a former Silver Ferns player and she's come back after having two little boys and she's playing in the Vitality um, up in the UK Super League netball um, comp. And yeah, so she goes through the joys of um, being a mum and coming back to professional sport and the journey to get there. So what was it like transitioning out of being a professional athlete at the time and then to becoming a mum? I don't see it spoken about a lot but it was really, really hard. It kind of, it got a little bit easier because I got, you get so busy, you know, kids just don't let you do anything, like anything. And so, it, it, very busy, but I, I went from, my day was just all about me. Um, I would train, I would eat, I would train again, I would eat, I would sleep. And it just, it just, it just felt like it changed overnight. So it was actually quite, like I got a bit dark about it for a little while because my life had changed so quickly even though I didn't get pregnant by accident like me and my husband were, were actively trying and like we wanted to do it but we were just leaving it just leaving it and letting it happen so it still gave me a bit of a fright um my days looked very different my weeks my months and I just felt like um 
I felt like I, while I would like to have a little bit of a gap in between to know what it was like to be just a human, like, so athlete to mum, I just wanted that little time in the middle to see what it was like to be just a normal person who didn't have to go to the gym or didn't have to answer to people or to fill forms out and do all that stuff. Um, it would have been nice, but I obviously don't regret it. I love my boys a lot and they've taught me a lot about um, being a real grown up, it's a bit different. So yeah, it's hard, man. Far out, it's hard, and I just, I'm just lucky. I got uh, a pretty good husband here because it's only been us two. So what have been the what have been the joys for you for be, of being a mum? Because I've left it so long intentionally to have kids, I've just turned into this like, like, psycho. My phone, I have like twenty five thousand photos. I don't even have a photo of Jim and I. They're just all of the children. And it'll be like blocks of like 20 photos of Bashy like eating a piece of bread. The bread starts here and it finishes in his mouth. 20 foot, like, like I just, I laugh at who I've become because like they are my world and they are exactly who we were waiting for. Um, Jim and I have been together a really long time and we've made conscious decisions to pursue our careers before we have children and I, I find that because we have done what we needed to do like our kids are, like we're just crazy parents like Jim always just grabs the kids and he'll just like hold one up to me to be like look look at what we did <laughs> we do that all the time to each other so I think that's what I love is who I've become, it softened me a little bit, but made me like ultra crazy at other things. I really <laughs> like my kids, and then I really want to smash their heads together. <laughs> That's what motherhood is like. And then they have a dad who just needs a jumping sidekick to the face. Ugh. I'm all alone here, got sausage chest in this house. <laughs> and so, and now you're getting back into sports. Um, how are you going to do it? How is it? How right. is it going to work for you? No, <laughs> this is one of those things where, um, much like with my knee, I, I just thought, okay, maybe this is a sign. I got to get out. Like, I, I've done what I needed to do. I've, I've um, pushed the boundaries where I needed to push them. I, I got, I went through non-selection and forcing my my nose back into selection like I've done all these things that have made me quite content I thought my knee going was the time to leave but it wasn't because I couldn't carry on not knowing whether I could play netball again after a knee injury so this is another one of those things where someone asked me to play and I'm like oh I had a baby like four weeks ago it's like well do you want to I'm like fine yes I, th I want to try and do it so this is one of those things where I probably shouldn't, but I can't help myself. It's a challenge. And I need to see if I can do it needs. I, I can't even I can't even stress how much um, regret would haunt me more than failure. All my little netball movements are actually fine. I've been jumping and like I haven't pissed myself yet. <laughs> actually, I'm all good. Because yeah, I think it's really important for women to be able to um, see you do this like have kids and then um still have the goal to get back on the court as well mm. and yeah um i think it'll be inspirational for other women who might think oh i guess i'm i'm retiring now that i'm having kids I'm done, yeah. yeah yeah i think it should be celebrated i think that to be able to play at the top shouldn't just be for people who have to put their families on hold it should be supported and encouraged and if you can't come back, then at least you tried. But, you know, for too long, it's been don't have babies because you won't be able to come back. Come and back. I, I think that's, yeah, and, and that's not that's not being said. It's been implied. And I just, you know, in the last few years, we've seen so many mums come back to netball, especially at the top level, um, that it's really cool and it's cool for our young ones to see. Not that they should get pregnant early, but that they don't have to put off having families if that's what they want to succeed in first. So yeah, I hope so, it's cool.
So that's another wrap for Kokoro Sports Talk. Um, we're actually going to be thinking a little bit more deeper about some of the topics that we're going to be talking about. So we are going to fortnightly episodes instead. But as usual, comment and subscribe for anything that you want to give us.